सो हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक आई एम डॉक्टर मनी सोनी एंड आई शोड यू वन इमेज एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस दिस इमेज अलॉन्ग विद अ क्वेश्चन ओके नाउ मेनी ऑफ यू हैव आंसर्ड दिस क्वेश्चन करेक्टली एंड मेनी ऑफ यू हैव गिवन राइट आंसर्स इन द कमेंट बॉक्स सो लेट इज डिस्कस दिस क्वेश्चन द पेशेंट प्रेजेंट्स विद रैश एज शोन इन द इमेज बिलो एंड एज यू कैन सी दिस रैश इज हैविंग अ वेल डीमार्केटेड एरिया विच इज प्रेजेंट इन द नेक what additional history would you ask to this patient okay now this image is suggestive of a condition which is a nutritional deficiency which occurred due to vitamin b3 that is niacin deficiency that is patient is suffering from pellagra okay now in pellagra all of you might be knowing that there are four d's and one of the d is dermatitis dermatitis okay and this dermatitis is specifically occurs over sun exposed areas so because it occurs over sun exposed areas what happens that the face neck and v of the neck of the patient is involved giving rise to this characteristic kazel necklace appearance over the demarcation area of the neck and this is a very characteristic finding which is seen in these patients now the other d's are dementia diarrhea and if you don't treat the patient then death so you can very easily make out the answer that is history of diarrhea and dementia that is memory impairment is important so this is the answer now all of you know that there are four d's of Uh, pellagra which just now i have discussed but there are four more d's which are very helpful in remembering four more important points in pellagra the first one is that it occurs due to nutritional deficiency so diet becomes very important so first d is diet in the etiology that is maize diet and because of excess of leucine jowar diet then second d is daru that is excessive alcohol intake may hamper the absorption of vitamin b3 thus leading to pellagra the third d is drugs because there are certain drugs which can also again lead to pellagra like isoniazid and fluorouracil and the fourth d is other diverse factors like carcinoid syndrome hartnup disease okay so i hope this was helpful so you just need to remember four d's in the etiology and four d's in the clinical features now this is the image for today and this is a very simple image i hope all of you can diagnose this condition so tell me the name of this condition in the comment box below thank you very much